My, 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 Gemini, what is going on with you, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot, and I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of August 2019. Shout out to all of my new subscribers, to everyone who's clicked this video, to everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared these videos in the past, present, and future. Shout out to everyone who um watches me in the morning for the morning slide if you guys enjoy the morning slide go ahead and check my about tab there's a merch link there where you can get you a morning slide mug and you can sip your tea in the morning with me and enjoy the morning slide if there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with scorpion reds several all you got to do again is click that about tab that has all my contact links and what you need to do is book and then link with me again book and then link so you click that book and link that says scorpion reds several at simply book me again it says scorpion reds several at simply book me all right and then you select your reading and then you link up with me okay so once you book your reading send me a message on either instagram or or Google Hangouts. My Instagram link is directly under the booking link. Just send me a personal message and say, hey, Rez, this is so-and-so. I booked with you on this or that a day. It is very important to make sure as soon as after you book to send me a message to communicate with me um, to confirm the appointment. I mean, not to confirm the appointment, just to communicate. So, you know, our lines of communication, we know how to communicate with each other because um, especially if you book a date out in the future, make sure the same day that you book with me to choose send me a message because if I could fit you in that day I typically try to get you guys same day appointment so do not wait until your scheduled date appointment make sure that you book and then connect with me that same day that you book so I can try to squeeze you in earlier if I can all right um also um if you do not have an Instagram and you want to use Google Hangouts, only thing you need to do is use my email, which is scorpionres at gmail.com and send me a message on Google Hangout. It's an easy app to download. After the reading, if you don't want to keep it, you can delete it. I believe the only thing you need is your email, okay? There's no exchange of phone numbers or anything like that or, you know, personal information other than email. So, again, um, if you want to use Google Hangouts, my email is uh, scorpionres at gmail.com. Send me a message. If you guys do not want to get on camera, for the video chat um there is an option uh for a video recap or direct upload now the video recap um you can use that add-on if you want to record our video session of your reading so you can go back and look at it and have a copy of it forever you can purchase that add-on so when we're having our live video chat reading i'm gonna record everything and i'll send you a a private link to whichever platform we're communicating after the reading it'll come to you within 24 hours to 48 hours after the reading if you don't want to get on camera just simply after you book and you connect with me send me the message pertaining to the reading that you booked okay make sure that you don't tell me the meat and potatoes around why you're asking the question just simply send me what you want to know I want to go into the energy blind and see what spirit has to say and then we're going to connect in on the back end and we're going to talk about how it resonates and if we need to pull a little deeper we would do so um, but just make sure that you only send me the question of what you want to know and then we'll take it from there um, if there is anyone who wants to send any love like and support to the page i want to um show some new deck announcements we have the mystic murdra all right uh yoga deck here all right so this came in through the amazon wish list i want to give a shout out to um craft and conjure i want to give a shout out to miss d i want to give a shout out to Callie and everyone who has been sending any type of support um so this is the reclining hand to big toe pose it says i am with the universe it's abundance is mine to enjoy so this deck it gives you a spiritual message as well as a yoga pose that you can practice and also like when you go in the book and you read the information behind that pose it is such an original story i mean this deck is amazing i really love it and i've really been using it for my personal use we have the soul's journey deck that also came in um from the amazon wish list and we also have let me see whoop, the 
Game of Thrones playing card deck. We will be using this deck today. And we also, for all my magical unicorns, girl, shout it out, honey, shout it out. We got the magical unicorn playing card deck, baby. And you will be seeing that soon if you haven't seen it already, baby. Just know that. Just know that. And, of course, today we're going to be using the Under the Roses Lenormand deck, which you guys might have already seen that deck as well. Okay? So, and this is my Fat Man Batman. If anybody is dealing with an Aries, y'all know he's from the Aries Vita. Say hi, Fat Man. He's like, no, whatever. Y'all know how Aries be. They mean as shit. Anyway, it's like, let me stop. I love my Aries. Let me stop for my Aries. Fuck me up. Y'all know I love y'all. Anyway, listen. So, let's get into the energy. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Gemini. I appreciate all the blessings and abundance that you've been bringing to us. I thank you so much for all of the light and the joy and the prosperity that we've been living in, Father God. Continue to enrich our life. Continue to uplift us above the BS, Father God. Continue to heal our heart. Continue to mend our feet so that we can run in the direction that you want us to go in, Father God. And never look back to anything that is not deserving of our time and our energy. Father God. Continue to uplift us, Father God. Thank you so much for everything that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for the month of August 2019 for my beautiful, beautiful Geminis, because you know those are my loves. Father God, give me guidance, and thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. My, 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 Gemini, what do we spy with our naked eye, baby? Let's go in. Let's go in. I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in. What's going on, Gemini? Give me guidance for my beautiful, beautiful Geminis. Thank you so much, Father. Give me guidance. All right, what does it say? The ghost of the pumpkin patch, counting your blessings. So it looks like we're at ground one. It looks like someone maybe starting a brand new venture right now you're counting your blessings it seems like i really do see a lot of grayness around gray represents like being emotionless being detached uh like a lack of enthusiasm like a lack of emotion um i see heavy eyes i feel like you've been crying a lot um, I don't know. I feel like you, you, it's just you. You, I feel like y'all are starting over. I feel like there's a level of sadness surrounding you right now. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm feeling kind of like just numb, like all cried out. All cried out. Give me guidance. What does this card mean? Let's see exactly what it means. It says something is something precious is all about you, but it has become so familiar that you can barely see it anymore. It is such a fixture in your life that familiar that familiarity has bred, if not contempt, a kind of blindness. The beauty the little girl ghost in the pumpkin patch asks you very gently to see the abundance all around you, to appreciate that while you're in your physical form there is so much that you can enjoy she wishes for you to harvest what's yours she she wishes for you to harvest what's yours now and to also take steps to call in any depths there can be outstanding money issues associated with this card and share the bounty do not let anyone cheat you you know that you don't own a single thing in truth it will pass through your hands, but still, ironically, these things you have earned through hard work are worth protecting. They are not too small. They are not too ordinary. You have more material wealth than you think. So please count your blessings every day. Yeah. I really do feel like there's there's been a great loss. And I feel like you're having to start over you might be in a situation where you become single and it's just you with this number one. But this is like a card for new beginnings, for creation, for you to be driven. I mean, for you to be driven, independent. You know what I'm saying? It really wants you to open your eyes and not so much look at the pain that's around you, but 
look in the mirror and see how beautiful you are and see how abundant you are and see everything that you have like everything isn't lost and you need to count your breast your, your um blessings and lift your head up and and and, and Think of this with a more positive mindset that, you know, we're having a chance to start all over again. Like, this is a new beginning. The Five of Cups, yeah. You guys are most definitely getting over heartache. It might be associated to a third-party situation, but you have turning around now. You guys have walked away from whatever is not serving you. You guys are lifting your head up, no longer looking back. And you looking forward to the future. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much for me saying that you guys getting yourself emotionally together. And not only that, but you are working on building a brand new foundation. And you got your friends and your family. You got a good network of people helping you rebuild. Come on now. Come the fuck on now, Gemini. Now we ready to turn up because I was feeling all sad at first. Like, no, we not doing that. The page of swords. You guys might be like... You guys might be looking real deeply into just like further advancement into your life. You might also have, let me see, because who, who's this stalking? Because there's someone watching someone. There's someone watching someone. The seven of coins, the eight of coins, the king of spirits. All right. So I do feel that why you are working on rebuilding and getting yourself together there could be this king of spirits that's watching you okay this is a this is a, a aries a leo or um a sagittarius male all right it definitely seems like it was a situation that didn't work out um that now that you look back at it you feel like um you could have went about things better because Something is kind of soiled your reputation or it might have soiled the reputation of the person that you were around. Maybe you look at the person. I, OK, where I'm saying soiled reputation in regards to you, this seven of pentacles and this eight of pentacles both being in reverse. I feel like right now you guys are going back, probably looking back at old messages, looking back at old pictures. You might be going back on your ex's pages, still like stalking, looking at what this person doing, but more so you're focused on rebuilding and looking into you advancing your future and you're looking into rebuilding your future. But I definitely do feel like some of you guys are going back and looking into the past and you're just like kind of going over everything and you might see things now with like 2020 vision because I feel like from the onset like I feel like on the onset you were like growing impatient having to wait for you to actually achieve this success from all of the work that you were putting into this situation. I feel like someone was ever put on the back burner or they weren't given the appropriate attention for a situation to, you know, grow. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like an outright denial and refusal to actually put in forth an effort and to work on something. And it's just like all the while, I feel like you might have possibly been waiting to recoup the benefit from your hard work. I feel like you really did put in a lot of work to get nothing out of this situation. And you feel like, like looking at yourself, you on a personal note, you feel like that made you look bad. You make, you feel like that makes you feel bad. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't able to recoup any of the assets of my hard work. You know what I'm saying? It was just, I had to walk away from this situation as a complete loss, as a complete failure. And that's, you know what I'm saying? As this person is rebuilding, I feel like this, I just heard Sagittarius. I feel like you guys were dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, you guys are looking back at this Sagittarius and you guys are looking back at the messages. You are looking back at the pictures. You are looking back at the times when you were happy and looking at this person's face to see the fraud. And it's just, just like, you know what? If I would have been looking a little bit harder back then, I could have seen that this person really wasn't trying to bring nothing to the table. So this is someone that felt like they put in all the hard work. They built everything. They did all of the hard work and did not reap the reward, did not. You know what I'm saying? 
I feel like the, the only thing that this other person gave them was like a fake Gucci purse or some shit. Like, whatever. It was like... I'm, I'm giving you Fendi, I'm giving you Dior, I'm giving you Chanel, I am giving you Louis Vuitton, I'm giving you Hermes, I am giving you the finest of the finest quality, I am giving you my best. And this person goes to Canal Street and give you a fake ass Gucci purse and don't even give a fuck about how they look, giving it to you. Just like, oh here, like you just gonna come and hand me some trash? After everything that I did, and it's just like, uh-uh. It just like, it, I feel like it's a, that's why this person is looking like this. Because it's just like, what they got at the end. They walked away with just like, nothing, you know, and it hurts. And I'm feeling that hurt. Like, I'm really, really feeling that hurt. And I really do feel like this person has been crying this person has gone through a lot, and I feel like right now they're just emotionally numb. And you gotta pull yourself up and just see, like, if you were able to put in all of that work, then that means you got a lot more than what you're giving yourself credit for. You're rebuilding yourself. You're rebuilding yourself. You are getting your life back together. You are not focusing on that shit anymore. If you are focusing on it, you're focusing on it to just see what you will never do again. And you know for sure that you would never do that shit again. Pick yourself up. Because at the end of the day, I want you to get a real king of wands. I want you to get a good king of wands. Someone that is really sitting there ready to provide. That is action oriented. That is going to be very driven and passionate towards their love for you. And that's going to help you. And that's going to be committed to you. I don't want you to put your head down and not focus on everything that you put into it knowing that if I was able to put that much into it then that mean I had something to bring to the table and if I had it before I'm gonna have it again and I still have it and continue investing continue networking continue rebuilding because you never know you might bump into a king of spears you might bump into the right one for you you know what I'm saying give me guidance on this king of spears please Because this one, okay, so in the Game of Thrones, this is the Stark's father, okay? This is um, John Stark and all of they, okay, and I'm being led to tell you guys the story about him. So, John Stark was a bastard child. This man was a king of the Stark family. He already had, like, I want to say, like, he already had kids with his wife. He went off to war and was gone for a few years and came back with a baby and gave that baby to his wife and told the baby to raise it. Okay? So, and then the jack of clubs came out. So, I feel like I, I was... I'm really hoping that that's not the situation here. I'm really hoping that that's not the situation. But I, I was urged to tell y'all this story about this man going off and coming back with a baby with somebody else. You understand what I'm saying? And I pray to God that that is not what the fuck happened. But this is a, 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 a jack of clubs. Like, a jack of clubs, like, it's a it's a... It's a good man and everything. He's a hardworking man, but he's very immature. He's very immature. Do you understand what I'm saying? And let me see. Let me just give y'all a breakdown of the Jack of Clubs real quick. The Jack of Clubs is a hardworking, honest, sincere young person. He's busy. He's an active person, most often a male. He's clever, enterprising. He enjoys sports. He may practice in school or community football, basketball, soccer. He can represent an employee. This might be a co-worker of yours. He can denote a young acquaintance from work. He could be a close friend or a business associate, associate that's going to be useful to the inquirer in some way. He may wear a uniform that symbolizes his work rank. Do you understand? But this is a young person. Because you see how he's kind of looking kind of unsure about something. Okay. So this might be someone that you would work with. Oh. Three of hearts. Okay. It's new love there. It's three of hearts though. Three of hearts. Now we got the king of spears. And we got the jack 
and we got the king of spears now and we got the jack of clubs and we got the three of hearts that definitely seems like a third party but the three of hearts represent new love affairs new love okay but it can also denote third party love affair let's see two of spades most definitely a third party love affair big time big time the two of spades represents frustration anger it represents arguments it represents um someone being deceived treachery someone being lied to um a lot of arguments and a lot of physical fighting it's like physical fighting like tooth and nail like y'all like fighting and there may be some fights going on because there were two different men involved here. Yeah, the two of clubs. Yeah, this is someone like someone was cheating with someone at work. Someone was cheating with someone at work. The five of hearts. The five of hearts represents the divine feminine. The divine feminine was cheating. Wow. This is a female Gemini, like this she had a love affair going on. Hmm. And they go to King of Spades. They go to King of Spades. This is like a judge. This is someone that's judging your character. This is someone that you're dealing with that knows about this situation that's judging your character harshly. Okay, you see how they're looking at this person? They're judging your character harshly and they're kind of looking down upon this situation. Um, this person could have turned their back on you and and left and left because of this situation. Um, this person can be very shrewd. This person can be very manipulative. Um, this person can be very cold and be very cutting and very conniving, especially if you get him in a fucked up way. And I really do want to say that this is this king of spears. And they know about this person that you've been sleeping around with at your job. And they found out about this situation. And I definitely feel like they could have broke up with you when they found out about this betrayal. And we do have the three of coins. And that does denote a work a work such a work environment and the three people working together. And that did start off with the five of cups, someone getting over a third party heartbreak and trying to turn around and look at what they have in front of them and trying to rebuild. But this person is going back and looking, they're still stalking their past though. They're still stalking their past. They're still stalking their past. And they may be impatient waiting for this person to come back to them. And this person doesn't want to work with them. They don't They don't want to work on anything with them. This person, and if y'all worked with each other, this person might have quit their job to get away from you in this situation. Because I feel like this has something to do with like a, a work type of thing. Or either... I don't know. I don't know. Because if this person worked there, this person would have been a boss. Okay? So this person would have been a boss. But I don't know if this person worked with y'all. Because it's not. Because if it was the king of clubs, I would say that this person was a boss at your job. But if this person did work there with y'all, this person quit. This person quit. This person doesn't want to work there with you. This person doesn't want to be around the situation. They think the situation makes them look bad. Like I told you, someone feels like something makes them look bad. Give me guidance in regards to this three of coins. God damn, y'all. Shit. And they saying it's the woman doing this shit. This has to do with emotional harmony. This has to do with, like... Someone trying to rebuild. Hold on, you guys. They're trying to rebuild because 
YouTube. I'm sorry, y'all need to put my music back on. It's like this person is trying not to focus on the fucked up shit that happened in the past. Like I said, they're trying to count their blessings and focus on their future because they're having to rebuild. Looks like this is someone that was heartbroken because of the way something went down, you know. And right now they're focusing on trying to create a, harm, a harmonious environment around them. Like a safe, a happy, a nurturing and a loving environment around them. What is it saying? The Queen of Hearts. Like, this person still feels like they have the opportunity to love again. But the Three of Spades. Like, oh my God. The Three of Spades can represent the third party situation. It can also represent... Y'all be careful because y'all fuck around with all these people. That's the card of, like, disease and shit. Like, like sexually transmitted diseases and shit like that. Please watch yourself, yo. Watch yourself, man. Watch yourself. This is a card of third party deceit, third party treachery. Like... <laughs> Let me read this shit to y'all, because y'all gonna think I'm fucking lying, y'all. And y'all gotta be careful, man. Be careful, like, you gotta understand your body is a fucking temple. Do you understand? You can't just share your body just with any motherfucking body. The three of spades is traditionally a card of loss and deceptions, lies, misunderstanding, confusion, a growing problem, a worsening condition, deterioration, disease, infection, Third party interference, a third will meddling, a love triangle, what is going on behind the scenes, trials and tribulation, a test, a exam. Some of you guys may need to go to the fucking doctor. Like, I'm serious. Like, be careful because one of these people that you're dealing with may be burning or something like that. I want y'all to be careful. Like, don't just be so eager and willing to just share your body with anybody. You know what I'm saying? I understand that you're a loving person. But you got to understand Melisandre. Melisandre was a sneaky person. And she was the red witch. You know what I'm saying? So, like, she had a lot of tricks up her sleeve. She, you know what I'm saying? You got to watch this person. And I really do feel like this reading right now is someone... This is like a reading for like a Gemini male that was just dealing with um, a person that was cheating on them. Gotta be. You know what I'm saying? Or this could be like anyway. But listen, take the energy how it resonates. But what I want you to understand is like this person right now is trying to focus on, like I said, not focusing on this shit on the past and rebuilding a peaceful a harmonious environment the four hearts represent peaceful surroundings healing steady improvement happy surprises cycles of life a second chance an opportunity to redo something something that comes in twos this person thinks that i really do feel like now that this person is trying not to focus on the past but i feel like they can't like they can't stop thinking about the past they can't stop thinking about what was done and not only that they can't stop like internet stalking this person and, and, and looking at everything and then hold on real quick because we got the two of spades here as well the two of spades hold on no that's the two of hearts hold on okay so anyway let's get oh no 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 let's go to the three of hearts the three of hearts the three of hearts, because remember we had the jack of clubs. This is this person at work. So in regards to this person at work, it says love, beauty, happiness, new love, a relationship, a love triangle if surrounded by spades, creative, talent, artistic ability, creative achievements such as poetry or artwork, fertility, blood, life, prayer, religion, a growing embryo. This person may be pregnant by this jack of clubs this is someone that is younger than this woman do you understand what i'm saying this is someone that's younger this is someone that this person knows from work it says a growing embryo an increase of something beautiful such as blooming flowers a developing love affair a growing child a small celebration a job promotion okay so this is someone you guys might have got fucking pregnant from somebody from your job Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Lord, was anybody messing around with someone at their damn job and fucked around and got pregnant? 
messing around with somebody at their damn job behind a man back. Oh my God. The two of spades represents a card of conflict, disagreement, betrayal, arguments, anger, resentment, holding grudges, vindictiveness, violence, bad news, removal, separation, something sharp, pointed, teeth, ice. Do you understand? This is a card of separation. I feel like someone find, found out that I, you know, I really do. I'm sorry, y'all. I just have to read the fucking cards, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. This one, this one right here is the same person. The man that you live with at home found out that you were cheating on them with somebody at your job and got pregnant with somebody at your job. The king of spades is a man authority of ambition and power. A divorced person. I told you this person left. Okay. This is the older person. Okay. The older person was cheated on with somebody at this woman's job. And this woman fucked around and got pregnant by this younger man. The man, the king of spades, all right? Again, a man of authority. I mean, I told you that this person is like a judge. It's like harshly judging. Look at his face. It says a divorced widow, older man, a leader, a lawyer, a judge, a police officer, a health specialist, Lord Jesus a health specialist, a man of foreign country, he can be arrogant, opportunistic, deceptive, cold, calculating, shrewd, possessive, emotionally controlled, detached, okay? He could be the rival in a business or a love situation. But at the end of the day, it seems like this person is the rival. It seems like the older person, even if that's the one at home, this person was the other man even if he was the one at home because this was the one being deceived and lied to because the one that this person loved was at work the one that this person is pregnant by the one that this person actually loved was the younger guy from work and again this is being clarified by the two of fucking clubs do you see the two of clubs this <laughs> this is uh, the two of spades and all of this shit is being <laughs> Oh my god, this is so messy fucking boots, you guys. Like, I cannot make this shit up. This is so fucking messy. The two of club, a social or business invitation, a business or a social correspondent, any kind of business benefits being given, uh, receive or exchange a gift, a birthday or anniversary present, something being given or not limited to material things only it could be a gift of someone's time and their energy being given freely okay it's a piece of helpful advice a special favor or um being given a bit of good news a clock time do you understand this person was giving their time and remember clubs represent work represent work Okay, this female was, this divine feminine was, this woman, I don't even want to call her no divine feminine because this woman sounds horrible. But this woman, this is a female energy. This woman was doing this deception. Do you hear what I'm saying? The five of hearts, feminine energy, woman thoughts, frilly things, knitting, sewing, girly, a female, sexual intimacy, tenderness, holding hand, physical displays of affection, the right hand, the right side, doing right. Being right, being truthful, fair, a desire, opportunity, a proposal, which brings happiness and success, satisfaction to one's desires, dreams being fulfilled. Do you see what I'm saying? This woman did this shit to this person. And at the beginning, like this person, like I said, the king of the king of wands is a good person. And I feel like this person might was being loyal to this person. Like this woman cheated on him. And now you got him and his fucked up. Like now this person is in their low vibration. Like, bro, that's fucked up. The red witch. The red witch, bro. Like, let me try to tell you. Oh my god, this is so fucking crazy, Mo. I can't even make this shit up, Mo. Oh my god. Please give me some guidance. What's the tea? What's the real tea? What's going on? What's going on with Melisandre? What's going on with this woman? With this queen of hearts? Lord Jesus. Luck. Reward. Opportunities. 
I just heard great things come in twos. This person feels like great things come in twos. So this could be a fair skinned man and a, and a darker skinned female and things like that. That's that that could be the dynamic of this relationship. Could be, you know, a black woman and a white man or a, a darker skinned woman with a lighter skinned man. But I definitely feel like um like this person just looks for opportunity. You know what I'm saying? This person likes to network. That's the garden that means like communication, networking, um, you know what I'm saying? Spaces of comfort. Like this person um feels fortunate. This this person feels fortunate. Um, I really do feel like this younger man, I do feel like this is a younger man. I don't know. If you look at the picture, I just feel like he looks a little bit younger than her. Or just smaller. Like, she could be more heavy set, and he could be real skinny and light skin or something like that. But I just feel like... Let me go into... Let me... I just I just want to verify exactly what this, this... The clover means. The clover means... Good luck, fortune, rewards, opportunities, longevity, success, happiness, hope, optimism, money, risk, unforeseen situations, okay? All right, unforeseen situations, Lord Jesus. It says, all unforeseen situations being broadcasted in the public, the garden, the public, groups, crowds, gathering, pleasant socialization, support system, an audience, events, meetings, the internet, media, creativity growing social gathering or networking i told you guys so i feel like and again this is clubs remember this is clubs this is still clubs this is still clubs this is networking like i really feel like this is a group like this is all of this shit is going on within a group of people within the same network it's like all of you guys I feel like all of you guys work together. I really do feel like all of you guys work together. I really do feel like all of you guys work together in some form of capacity. Y'all work in the same social group. Give me more guidance in regards to this form of communication. This woman feels feels like good things coming too. It's better for me to socialize. Ship. It's a parting. It's a it's a move. Someone's moving. Someone likes to explore. They like to move around. They like to they like to explore. You know what I'm saying? This person likes travel, likes exploration. I feel like this person doesn't like to stay stuck in one spot. Um, the key. This. You know what I'm saying? This could be like the key to some information. The key to some. Like, maybe what I'm telling you right now is, like, the key to some unknown information that you didn't have access to. Like, this is the key. Like, the key can represent choices, like, to think about who you give access to information to because you don't know what's on the other side of the door. So, I feel like this this might have been the key is some information to this young man. You understand what I'm saying? Because they might not have known about this lover. They might have not known about this lover. And, like, this is also a card of separation. This is a card of time, the crossroad, lock it. Like, this person. All right, so this person feels like this was some key information because they were in the crossroads in this love situation. They were in the crossroads. And they were trying to figure out how to give their heart if they should still give their heart to the situation because right now this person is thinking about how their time is better served this person is like really thinking about the meat and potatoes and about let me let me let me go over time let me go over time time the clock it represents objectivity enlightenment i told you enlightenment standard separation alien alienation authority analysis discovery innovation perspective forfeity institution structure protection <laughs> 
perspective and objectivity like i really do think that this person is like this man is able to put things in better perspective now this man is able to put things this man is able to put things in better perspective now you know what i'm saying is able to put things in better perspective now either this man knows about this man I, you know, I don't even know if these motherfuckers even knew. Because someone didn't know about this shit. Someone did not know about this shit. Someone did not know that this woman likes to move around like that. Someone did not know that, you know, this woman likes to move around like that. This is travel. This is also a card of separation as well. This person did not know that this person moved like this. This was some revealing and the key to some information and this person needed to know ever this person need to know this shit or this is some key information that this person knows about this man because that was on the other side of the key remember this is some key information this person didn't know about this lover the writer is also a lover as well like this was a subtle arrival arrival of information you know like they didn't know about this lover they did not know about this lover this is all too revealing to them, you know? Time might be up, it might be time for separation. They've been enlightened about this and now they're in a crossroad about this love situation. Mm. The key, let's see what the key means. I'm being urged to just clarify the key. Clarify the key. The key, the doorway. A threshold, an opening, a closing, integral, unlock, hide, clues, solutions, insight, answers, empathy, understanding, certainty, a lock, knowledge, something being revealed or understood, the destiny of a situation, okay? What's on the other side of the door? So like I said, you guys, I feel like this situation, this is like some revealing information to someone because I feel like... Someone did not know this information. I really do feel like someone did. Or they or they're just finding out about this situation. Or this is what happened to leave this person by their self without having to start at ground one. And this could ever be the woman starting at ground one, or this could be what the man is experiencing and they're having to start at ground one because of this revelation. But I really do feel like the person that is at home may think that this is their child. This is not their child. This is some younger man's child that this person has been sleeping with from their job. This person had a lover. Movement, choices, and decision. This person... It's like this conflict has caused a lot of change and now they're having to make movement choices and decisions. I feel like especially if you guys live with each other, you're having to find some balance here. And yeah, and love begins like you're 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 starting all over again. Like you're moving your assets around, you're making better choices, and you're trying to like pour love back into you. You know what I'm saying? So love can begin again, but for some reason it's just like the passion. It's just not in you for some reason. The passion is not in you because I want to say that you didn't see this. You did not see this shit. Like, you did not see this shit. You did not know this shit. Or it's something that. Yeah, I, like this shit was just illuminated to you about this person. What is this? This was in the reverse. Say fulfillment of wish. Oh, um, it's just like this. Like, I really do feel like this male that got betrayed. They felt like this person was going to be a gift to them, and that you know that they were able to have a prosperous new beginning in love. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they. I feel like they really tried, and they really. Love this person. You know what I'm saying? I really do think that they put their passion into this. But now they got to start all over again. They got to make movements, choices, and decisions in order for love to start again. But for some reason, like, their passion is just not ignited right now. Because this shit was hard on them. This shit was hard on them. They didn't see... They didn't see this coming. And 
like their wish in this situation just wasn't fulfilled and I just feel like they just feel deflated like their chest is like deflated a little bit you know what I'm saying and they're right now they're trying to get the the passion back ignited in them so they can you know like I said they're counting their blessings they're having to look at things from the bright side but it's hard when you've been crying so much you know what I'm saying it's hard when you've been crying so much And this can also be somebody like this could be the woman that did this shit that's that realized that they have to start all over again and maybe that they fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, but it's like someone's just not ascending right now. Someone's not ascending right now in love. Give me more guidance. Yeah, it's like. The person that found out about this, sh this shit, they got the key. They are able to come to conclusions about this shit. But the person that was dishing this energy, they're not ascending because they're not able to come to conclusions about what they did and how it impacted. They're still wanting to offer. You know what I'm saying? They're still wanting to offer their self. And, yeah, they, they think that they're going to be able to come back around this fall and things are going to be able to mend itself. But they're not ascending. It's like whoever this is that did this year, they're going to try to come back and re-offer to their, their self to this person again this fall. But it's like they're still not changed. They haven't learned anything. They haven't able, They haven't been able to unlock the key to see what they did wrong they're just they just want to kind of like brush it up under the rug and they just want to come back and re-offer their self to you just like well can we just start again and you know let's let's see let's see what gemini does can we start again can we start again Gemini says to put the past behind you, release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Gemini said no. Mm -mm. We just need to move on. We need more peaceful and harmonious environment. Like I just want, I want some grassroots shit. I want to start all over. I just like, I feel like Gemini is trying to get over the betrayal, the heartbreak being deceived by this whole situation and they just want the past to be behind them it says manifesting miracles your dreams are soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance gemini continue to trust your heart i know this person hurt you and they hurt you bad baby this person hurt you and they hurt you bad but don't focus on that shit no more don't even look back at that shit no more continue to do like you said that you were doing Leaving that shit in the past and focusing on rebuilding your future. And I know that you're looking back at it to just see how things didn't work. And you're looking at it to learn lessons from the situation. You know, it says when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of love and light. You know what I'm saying? So don't beat yourself down. Know that we're manifesting miracles of greatness. If the shit is in, it's in the past, this shit is in the past. You've given this person their wings so that they could fly. Melisandre could fly or, you know, the energy could be reversed. Like, you could be the female and this is what the man did to you. Like, they cheated on you with some girl at your job or, you know what I'm saying, or something or at their job. You know what I'm saying? So, this says, let there be closeness between you. Always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So one thing that you need to realize and love that you can't claim someone. You got to let this person freely give to you abundantly on their own. And it'll be better that way. I feel like when you kind of hover and try to control people, you know what I'm saying? And you be too close up on people, it can, it can make people stray. You know what I'm saying? You got to give people space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Okay. And not only that. I feel like if you got to stalk and be over on top of someone and check on them and see what they're doing and shit. That's not love. You shouldn't. That's not love anyway. You know what I'm saying? 
you got to be with someone that you can be without worry that you're going to get the success and you're going to get the recognition and you're going to get the public reward. You know what I'm saying? Naturally, this person is given to this person naturally. They're not forced to give anything. This person wants to give to them. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need to do. Only focus on people that honestly want to give to you. And the king, the knight of swords in reverse, I feel like there's going to be a big argument coming. What's coming up with this argument? Oh, you're pouring out this cup. Whatever it is that this person is our... <sighs> yeah. It's like someone is going to try to come back around wanting to give you recognition and reward, Gemini. And you're like, um... The, like, you're going to go plumb the fuck off. Like, I feel like... Or you could be seeing someone else giving someone... Right? You see how he's crowning someone else? Because remember, I told y'all, y'all was looking, y'all was watching somebody. Or somebody's watching you. And Gemini, somebody could be watching you and they could be seeing another person crowning you. Giving you attention, giving you the praise and the reward. And someone might be very upset about that. Someone may be very upset about that. It may be coming to you almost in a fit of rage. Damn near wanting to fight. Damn near wanting to fight. Because it looks like whatever was being offered isn't being accepted anymore. No one, is, they're not drunk in love anymore. They're not a fool for this person anymore. Let's see here. The Empress. All right. We may have someone that's an expecting mother. All right. That's an expecting mother. He's dealing with a Knight of Wands. This person is in and out. This person feels like the passion has possibly died in this relationship. And they just come, like this person comes in and out. This person just wants attention. And I feel like this Empress, she's going to have a nice fit of words for this person. Whatever this person is trying to offer to her, she don't want it no more because she's not a fool. She has her children to tend to. And she's expecting, and she might have three more months in the pregnancy. Or, you know, she's about to have this child, possibly in the fall. Yeah, in about, yeah, in about she's about to have the baby in the fall. Possibly by this Knight of Wands. The Magician in Reverse. This trickster. This manipulator. Like, this person who's dealing with this woman is pregnant and expecting a baby with a Knight of Wands. Someone that's in and out that is all about sex. And they like to control people with sex. They feel like this person is a manipulator. Not only that, but as you can see, this person is a master manipulator. They are very good at their trickery extremely well i mean they are so good at doing this that they can teach other people the emperor in reverse and this person is like not a good father like this gemini looks at this person like they're not responsible they're not a good father they just manipulate people with sex and present their self to be something that they're not at all they're just coming around because they want to feed off of your attention you know what I'm saying? This person doesn't come around with no money. This, cut, this person doesn't provide no food. This person doesn't help with the kids. This person doesn't check up with the kids. This person doesn't help around the house. This person doesn't do shit. The page of cups in reverse. Like this was a complete false love. This was an unrequited love. This person feels manipulated. This person felt manipulated and thought that this situation was going to result in marriage. This person thought that the situation was going to result in marriage. Yeah. But it looks like they're having to withdraw. Looks like they, there's definitely been a death to a situation. Someone most definitely walked away to get their mind together. And it looks like this woman is coming to pay their respects. Um, coming to pay their respects. It looks like something is most definitely dead and done and gone. And someone is hibernating. Someone is retreating. Someone is trying to heal and trying to get their heart and their mind and their soul 
everything back together because they thought that this situation was going to result in marriage, especially because y'all have a child on the way. This person most definitely realized that they might have just had a child with someone that's the emperor in reverse that isn't going to provide any type of help, any type of anything to them. And like right now, they're just trying to rest and heal. And they've deaded that situation with this person. And right now, they're trying to count their blessings. They're, they're... I'm hearing two different stories here. I'm hearing a story of a woman cheating and, 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 and doing shit. And I'm hearing a story of a man being ain't shit. I'm hearing two totally different forms of chaos here, y'all. Is it just me? Didn't the energy switch? Yeah, this one fell out. Apron service. Like, I definitely feel like you guys work together. Somebody in this situation worked together with this apron and with the service card. And this person feels like, this empress feels like they will no longer be of service to this person. They will no longer be of service to this person. But I definitely feel like this baby is coming in um, the fall. Enthusiasm, excitement, and warmth. Um... I feel like there's like some dark energy surrounding this woman. I really do feel like there's some dark energy surrounding this woman. And I feel like she's trying to tame that shit. Because that black cat, I don't know, like, that black cat, like, if this woman that's pregnant, and it is a pregnant woman, like, young, I'm fucking tripping, bro. Like, yeah, there's some dark energy surrounding this woman. This is the same woman that was... Like, sis, like, you can't sit there and try to make it seem like you're innocent and shit like that. And, like, you were cheating, too. Like, you went and just had a whole baby on this man by a whole nother man and try to play it off like as someone else's dude. I mean, like, it's, like, bro. But, I, I mean, I really do feel like this woman did this shit because, what is this? Bones. Like, you, like she was not, like, this, this situation... This person felt like they were indestructible. You know what I'm saying? And you're not. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not. This person, I felt like they felt like this man wasn't going to walk away from them or something like that. But this person flew away and found peace. This person flew away and found peace. I feel like she cheated on him. He cheated on her. I don't know who did whatever first. It might be. But remember, it was saying that this is a woman that, that just likes to get around. Like, this woman and this man didn't know that this woman moved like that. And she's looking at this man that she's pregnant by. Or whoever she's pregnant by. Like, this person is not, like, father material. Like, it's not emperor material. Like, this man can't help me with shit. And time is slipping away. Like, I really do feel like this baby is coming. Yeah, the in, like the energy is not aligned between the parents. I really do feel like whoever the expecting parents is, the energy is not aligned. And there's no, like y'all are not being hospitable with each other. Like I feel like there's a lot of rude communication. Like I feel like the one who this is not their child, this person flew to the coop and they found peace. This person felt like they were going to be indestructible and that they were going to master maneuver this situation or whatever but this person flew the coop and found their peace this person has a baby coming this aug um not this august but this baby has some shit the baby might be coming this august or whatever in regards to the baby it's a lot of enthusiasm a lot of enthusiasm and excitement and stuff like that but all of this shit like i said this person is not ascending this person doesn't see they're wrong this person thought that they were indestructible and like i said Normally when I see Melisandre, I don't tap into the negative attributes of her. But Melisandre did some fucked up shit in the Game of Thrones. Do you understand what I'm saying? She did some she did some fucked up shit trying to be a service to people. You understand what I'm saying? Like the time is up. The time is slipping for this person. Like, there's someone that name, it can't be spoken. Like, they're not speaking to you no more. This specific name is not speaking to you anymore. 
um, name might start with an M. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person is not speaking to you anymore. And um, y'all energy is just not aligned. It's not aligned. They're not being hospitable to you. And they're definitely not giving you no money. And I think that that's the reason why. That's the reason why you're looking at this person as if they're the emperor in reverse. Like they're not being hospitable to you. They're not giving you shit. Yeah, what is this information? Like this person, I feel like too much information is being pumped into this person's heart. And they've had an over, a overflow of information today. Like I feel like they can't even take no more of this shit. Like really. Like really, I got one more spread and I'm done. I know y'all can't take no more because this is just this reading has been. I can't. I don't even know how long we even been reading, bro. God damn, man, this is wild. And like, y'all please understand, I'm only reading the energy of the cards. If you are just not female and if do not take this as your energy. If you know that this is not true, if you know that you did not do no shit like that, if you know that you were not cheating on no man with somebody at your job but you trying to pass off a baby to your husband or the man that you got at home like it's his baby and it's not his baby like you thought you were interested in this is not you do not take this energy just look at it, at it for entertainment do you understand what i'm saying learn from it you understand this ain't me but i damn sure see what the fuck not to do or how this shit turned out for this person so like please do not be in the comments do not be down there this doesn't resonate. I'm glad that it doesn't resonate. Because I would not want this energy to resonate with me. You know what I'm saying? Because this sounds like some horrible fucking shit. You understand? But please do not go down in my comments telling me that this energy did not resonate. I do not want to hear that. And I am going to block you. So if you do want to be able to comment on my page in the future, do not do that. This energy is meant for somebody. Somebody needs to hear this. And if it's not you like i said just listen to it and just get the message from it okay but i get emails about gemini specifically all the time when y'all like no reds this shit is resonating with me like you're telling the truth they're just not going to say nothing in the chat they're not going to say nothing in the comment because they don't want their business to be out there but i get emails all the time about this gemini reading that this shit resonates the six of coin gemini is focused on their money right now they're trying to get their money and their life and shit back in balance do you understand what i'm saying they want a better situation i think they're looking for a better work environment they're looking for a new job they're looking for a better environment that can where they can better give and receive you know what i'm saying what is this justice you know these are being sorted out karmically on its own i just really feel like just chill and just let shit just happen the way it's going to happen because i really do feel like someone's going to come back whoever the person was whoever the female was in this situation is going to come back and ask for forgiveness um and it's going it's just trying to get their life together i feel like whoever this is is trying to turn their life around and trying to you know what i'm saying the ten of wands like they're releasing this burden i really do feel like whoever this person is they fucked up the situation they know that they fucked up the situation like i feel like they're walking away they're walking away with their head held down though they're walking away feeling fucked up about this shit but it's common justice like what is this the five of wands like this person caused a conflict this person had this person competing with someone else from their fucking job do you understand what i'm saying so it's just like it's justice like it's, it's justice do you understand what i'm saying you gonna have to walk away with your head held high you should hold your head held high you understand what i'm saying because at the end of the day like Whoever this was, like you knew what you were doing. The star reverse. You you know whoever this is, the ten of cups, yeah, this person completely lost their family. The two of cups, yeah, this person lost whoever this man was, this this king of this king of uh, of wands. This one, Jamie, you turned him into like I wanna say this betrayal, like you turned a good man, someone that was like possibly trying to do good to you and i just heard no he wasn't he was cheating on me too all right like you this man is a man scoring now i feel like because of this situation 
this person is a man scorn. But this Gemini just said, this person cheated on me too. He might have cheated on you first. But you went and got pregnant by somebody else. <laughs> Sis, like at the end of the day, this is someone like I'm not even lying that don't know, that don't know their worth. This is star in reverse. Someone that don't really have no faith, no hope in the future. As you can see, like you need to count your blessings and realize like you have a lot to give. You understand? I need you to pick your head up. Everybody makes stupid ass motherfucking mistakes, sis. Everybody makes stupid ass mistakes. Focus on your fucking money focus on your job you don't have a lot of time this baby is coming soon do you understand i know this person won't even speak your damn name and this person is not hospitable to you they're not helping you with no bills this person could have left you with bills because at the end of the day like i said you know you weren't operating in your greatest of good do you understand so this was violence. This was justice. This was justice. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person dropped that burden with you because they don't want to deal with this conflict. They don't want to deal with this conflict. And they're not dealing and competing with other people. Do you understand? They're definitely not going to do that. What was this? I feel like I'm missing a card. Am I missing a card? I feel like I'm missing a card. Yeah. Then it was the star card. They feel like you don't, they feel like you need to rebuild yourself and know your worth and get your energy aligned into faith. You know what I'm saying? You need to get your faith together. You need to get your faith together. There's Ten of Cups. There was most definitely a divorce. Someone walked away from a home. Most definitely. There was a divorce. There was an end and this person walked away. It's a Two of Cups. And a, yeah, I'm for quite a love. This person... This person most definitely walked away. Last card, nine of swords. They tired of the headache. They tired of the headache. So, Gemini, this is your reading. Y'all hear the song in the back? I'm gonna let y'all listen to this. In this song, they're blaming each other. I'm just gonna let this song. I'm just gonna let the song ride. I hope y'all can hear it. How nice of you to price of true love. What more can I say? This person said you made me this way. You doing this made me this way. This person is cold. This person is like downright fucking evil right now. This person is a tyrant because of this situation. She said, I'm the one that made you ruthless. said what how could you say that it was true love mm. how could you say this was true love what more can i say gemini this has been y'all reading i hope y'all can hear the music in the back listen they said you made me this way what more can i say you made me this way listen I want y'all to heal your heart. I want y'all to walk away with your heads held up high. Everyone make mistakes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Everyone make mistakes. And if not anything, we can all learn from each other's mistakes. You know what I'm saying? So um, if this video resonates with you, if you want to talk to me privately, uh, my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com. I love you all. And just know, you know, we going to pull through this shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's give it a little bit of time, especially after this retrograde shit. Just know at the end of the day, you got a beautiful baby that's coming out of this. I need you to pull yourself up. I want, number one, I want you to stop crying. Okay? 
Stop crying. You gonna be good. Every day that you look at your baby, you know that you gonna be good. You're a good woman. And I can't never talk about nobody doing no dumb shit because I done definitely just shit. Y'all don't even want to read the book of my life. Anyway, y'all, Gemini, I love you, baby. I love you. I love you. I love you. And again, I want y'all to know, um, only thing I can do is read the card, y'all. I got to tell y'all the truth. If I don't tell y'all the truth, y'all not going to learn. Y'all not going to heal. You understand? I'm not here to, um... I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to help you. You know what I'm saying? So I know that eventually we will build back up my relationship with Gemini because with Gemini, we used to be really, really close. But I feel like um, I don't get that much support from the Gemini group like that no more because of the energy that's been coming out here. But I got to tell y'all the truth and just know that just like with my Libra group, they had a hard time this time last year. And they have an amazing fucking year. An amazing year, an amazing time. Even when the trials and tribulations hit them, they take that shit like a fucking soldier. You know what I'm saying? So just know that this too shall pass. You understand? Love you.